Next tonight, sexual misconduct at West Seneca schools. Attorneys have filed at least two lawsuits with disturbing details, but they tell I-Team Chief Investigator Charlie Specht these might not be isolated incidents. West Seneca has a serious problem with, with sexual abuse in the district. It's, 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 it's reached pandemic epidemic levels. Attorney Joe Nicastro has filed two recent lawsuits alleging sex abuse by students at West Seneca West High School. One incident allegedly took place in 2015, the other in May of last year. But now the lawyers say they found evidence that these are not isolated incidents, but part of a larger pattern of misconduct in the district. There's multiple issues with teachers, faculty, um, guidance counselors, and students where, where children are being victimized and, and something has to be fixed. In 2006, prosecutors charged West Seneca East middle school teacher Jasper Rizzo with sexual abuse and endangering the welfare of a child for what a judge called inappropriate conduct with several female students in his class. In 2007, Anthony Harper, also a teacher at East Middle, was arrested for sexual abuse of a 13-year-old boy. Anthony Harper was about to start his 10th year as a French teacher and wrestling coach at East Middle School. He was arrested Wednesday after a Hamburg police investigation revealed a sexual relationship with a teenager. A second alleged incident with Harper emerged this year in a lawsuit filed under the Child Victims Act. In 2012, West Seneca's substitute teacher Timothy Beck was sentenced to 30 years in prison for child pornography involving students. In last July, David Kaliakovo, a retired school psychologist in the West Seneca schools, was arrested on child pornography charges. The 61-year-old is accused of possessing and receiving sexually explicit images of minors, some as young as three years old. Three former West Seneca students have also told the I-Team about a scandal in 2016 in which students at West High School took nude photos of female students, put them in a Dropbox account, and tried to sell the password to other students. There's definitely some kind of an environment. We don't know what's going on. We want to get to the bottom of it, but there's something going on in that district. In a statement, a spokesperson for the West Seneca School said, the district has a zero tolerance policy against sexual misconduct of any kind, and we remain fully committed to protecting the safety and well-being of our students. We are proud of those individuals who have shown tremendous courage in coming forward. Unfortunately, the district cannot discuss any specific matter involving minors or former students who were minors at the time. But now is the time for people to come forward and talk about these issues. That is the only way we're going to make any progress in society to address these issues. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News.